now let's get some fun. Let's add some compression. All right, dude, just play. Let, play that same same type of groove, but go back, play like four bars on the hat, then maybe four bars in the tom, four bars in the hat, but just keep looping it over and over, okay? All right, we're back to room mics only. Our dry sound. I'm gonna turn it up a little. after this. So the compression adds some serious excitement. And what I'm using, I don't know if you can see this in the much down here, but just to keep it simple, I'm running into an overstayer VCA stereo compressor. I have it, I, really I'm only set to, I think four to one on this. I honestly can't remember this combination of buttons. I think it's a four to one. I have no none of the behavior. It's I'm letting the low end go through, so I'm not doing a full, it's not a full frequency compression. I'm letting the bottom in come through a little bit. My attack is pretty quick and my release is a little bit slower. I'm trying to somewhat time it with the tempo of what Howe's playing. And we set this up earlier, so I know I'm at least I'm at least close. Now you can go really fast attack, really fast release and get things really obnoxious, or you can adjust that, leave your attack kind of fast and adjust your release to kind of soften up. Here, play that same thing again. I'll play with the release. There's a fast release. There's really slow. You really hear it in the snare drum. There's fast. and really slow. It just it clamps and it never lets go. It doesn't really recover. There, I'm going to put it back to kind of time it with the, between the kick and the snare. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Now, let's do this. Let's bring back in our close mics. I'm going to turn the compression off. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I may have it a little bit loud just for now, just, just so you can hear what's going on. So he's going to play through our normal 12-bar pattern. We're going to get some hat in there. We'll get some ride. We'll get some toms, some cymbals, so you can hear how all of it sounds like. All right, brother, go for it. No compression. No rooms. Dry room. So the first thing you notice with the compression is it sounds more exciting for sure. And I have the rooms a little bit on the loud side now. And I mean, we're just, we've got drums, we have no music, so we can do that. And it sounds really cool. 
but it adds a lot of excitement. Now, what do you hear? What do you notice on the individual elements? Well, the, the kick drum, obviously, there's some more, actually, some more kind of attack, more of the mid range and space around it. But the big thing I notice is the snare drum, and, and specifically the length of the note of the snare drum. It gets considerably longer with the compression, and it adds, it's kind of almost a natural reverb and some space. The same thing happens with the toms. I think the toms and the snare get way more exciting with the compression on the rooms. One mic, if the drum set is my fist right here, I have one mic pointing directly at the kit. The other mic does this in figure eight. So I have cardioid at the kit, I have figure eight on the sides. This is called a mid side. And what we're going to do to create a...